Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new Marc Jacobs Cafe Collection. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. These are such beautiful products. When I saw this announcement for this collection, I knew I had to try it. The Marc Jacobs foundation slash base products line tend to be hit or misses for me. So I'm gonna let you guys know exactly what I think about the Extra Shot Concealer and Foundation, which is the first product. And the second product I think got a lot of attention as well. It is the Omega 3 Powder Blush Bronzer and Highlight Compact. This looks stunning. So we're going to talk all about these two products and whether or not I think that they are worth your money. So if you guys want to know my thoughts on these two products, how they look on the skin and some helpful tips on how to use them, then just keep watching. All right, let's get right on into it. So let's first talk about the Cafe Marc Jacobs Extra Shot Concealer and Foundation Combination Product. Now this is really interesting to me because I tend to like a concealer by itself or a foundation by itself. The whole purpose of a product like this is that you can do either or. Now the shade that I am wearing is Light 150, which is actually a light with neutral undertone shade. There are 30 shades in this line, which is absolutely amazing. So good job to Marc Jacobs for that. I really appreciate the diversity among shades and how many there are. And this product also has beautiful, beautiful outer packaging. So not only does the cardboard that you get with this collection, like this is inspired by swirls of cream in coffee and it's so true. It just gives me such comfort vibes because first thing in the morning, I am a coffee drinker and this just brings that comfort, the start of my day. So this is really appealing to me. <laughs> So this is the outer packaging all zoomed in. You guys can see that there. There's some gold font. I just love the cream swirl with the effect of the packaging. It's just so beautiful. I actually picked my shade basically to use it as a concealer and I'll talk to you guys why I did that. Even though it's a foundation product as well, there's a lot of reasons why I picked my shade to brighten under the eye instead of use it all over the face. This packaging is actually fairly weighty in the hand as well, which I appreciate given that I am a luxury makeup lover. I do pay attention to stuff like this. So it would look really beautiful on a vanity, that's for sure. And the weightiness in the hand just adds that extra luxe feeling. Now, like I said, this is a combination product that Marc Jacobs has done where they've actually made the size of this product kind of in between the concealer and a foundation. For instance, this is my Josie Moran concealer. It only has five milliliters in here. It is 0.17 fluid ounces, not that much product compared to a foundation, which is typically a fluid ounce. So this is in the middle. This is actually 0.54 fluid ounces. So just over half of what you would get in a foundation product. Because of the fact that this is not a fluid ounce, you will run through this if you buy it solely for a foundation purpose. So that's why I chose my shade to make a concealer purpose instead so I can actually you know use this relatively sparingly and not waste my money just running through this product this product is 52 Canadian dollars or 39 American dollars so it's not cheap it is high-end so I wanted to make my dollars really stretch now this is available at Sephora and Marc Jacobs website right now and this also has caffeine in it to help brighten as well so that's why I also more so picked it for a concealer purpose because although you can brighten up the skin all throughout why not <laughs> you do you I do feel like the concealer part of brightening under the eye is kind of what I think about first when I think about a product like this the doe foot as well is also a little bit bigger than your standard concealer doe foot so it is still small in the hand but it's a bit shorter when it comes to length and it is slightly wider. So as you can see, me applying this on my face, you can tell that kind of going under the eye there, especially closer to the tear duct and getting close to in between my nose and eye, you can see that that wand is actually fairly big for detailed work like that. So that is the one downside is that they're trying to kind of mold these two stories together with foundation and concealer and having the purpose of both. In theory, it's a good idea to have a multitasking product, but when it comes to actually doing 
doing detailed work, if you use it as a concealer, you may find yourself using a different applicator to apply it precisely in smaller little areas. This is a natural finish as well as a full coverage product. I will say that is true. When I applied it on my skin, I could tell that it was quite full. So it does absolutely brighten. You don't need a ton for it to stretch across the face. I will say that as I was pressing it in with my beauty blender, which is what I typically use, I did find there was a little bit of tackiness kind of bouncing it into the skin. So that's the first thing I noticed, but I definitely did find that it brightened under the eyes really well, but I just had to find that when I was actually applying it, I had to be careful with certain spots getting really close to the eye, especially because I did my eyes first today, so I didn't want to mess up any eyeshadow. <laughs> now this is also supposed to have a coconut scent, and you actually can smell it. So if you're familiar with the Tantastic Bronzer, which we'll talk about in a second, it's a permanent product from the line. I'm actually gonna go grab it because I do have it in my collection, one second. So this is actually the Tantastic Bronzer from Marc Jacobs, and this also has the same smell. It smells like coconutty with a little bit of like, like beachy vibes, so the smell is definitely consistent in the concealer. So just so you guys know, if you are scent aversive, do watch out for that. There is a tiny bit of a scent, but you really have to stick your face in the tube to smell it. When I was applying it to my face, I didn't find that I was, you know, wafting that smell as I went. So like I said, tips on how to apply this best is to just make sure that especially when you're using the applicator, being that it is a wider applicator, when you really wanna get in there, make sure that you are wiping off the excess. Because it's a full coverage product, you don't need a ton, it will stretch for you. For myself, I like to have a medium finish, that's kind of my preference, so full coverage really goes the distance for me. I don't need a ton, and if you're using it for foundation, I think it would be best to do maybe your whole face every once in a while but try not to make this like your main foundation because you will run through it faster than a typical one because it's full coverage in theory you shouldn't need a ton to cover your face but because it's only a half a fluid ounce compared to a full ounce in a typical foundation product I think it's best used as a concealer so when it comes to how it wears throughout the day it actually does a really good job of staying put I do set my concealer with a powder always so I didn't try it without setting it. But I do think that if you do set it, that's the best like flawless result. It didn't crease under my eyes or anything and I did feel like the finish was natural. Now, I want to talk about the second product which I think a lot of you guys are really excited about, maybe more so than the concealer. This is the Cafe Marc Jacobs Omega 3 Powder Compact little thingy that they put out. This says it is a seamless glow all-in-one radiance coconut delight. Now if you are a fan of the coconut scent, like I said, which is from the Tantastic Bronzer, it is in here. So just so you guys know, this little baby has the exact same smell. I could absolutely tell right away when you, yeah, when you open it, I mean, it's like I said, it's not super strong like a Too Faced palette is where you open it up and you can smell like synthetic sweet smell. This is definitely something you kind of have to submerge your face in. But when I was applying these powders, I definitely smelled it. So I do think it dissipates as you wear the makeup. It's not something that you're going to turn your face and it wafts off your skin, but it is definitely there as you apply it. So this is a product from them that I'm super excited about because just like the concealer and how it's, you know, the outer packaging with that coffee and that cream kind of swirl, this is basically visualized in this palette. So I'm super excited because this is all comfort, I'm telling you. Also kind of looks like, not marble, but you know what I mean? It looks kind of cool with the design like that. Here's the palette all up close. You can see that it says Marc Jacobs on the very bottom there, just like the other, you know, big bronzers that you may own from his collection. But this is also a glossy finish. It's definitely plastic. It's still somewhat weighty in the hand, but it's super, super beautiful. Now, as you open it up you do have that huge mirror you can see it covers the top lid completely so that's amazing and then this actually comes in two variations so this one is Tantastic Glow as you can tell by the name the bronzer in the middle is not a new shade this is the same shade as the permanent Tantastic bronzer this is the first version the second version is Tantalize Glow which is a little bit deeper and that one also has the shade Tantalize which is a deeper bronzer and and also from the permanent collection in white packaging. 
So the Tantastic version that I picked is actually more of a lighter version. I would say fair to light, and then the other one is probably more so medium to deep. Now, this is one that has a satin blush. Both of them have satin blushes, and this one is actually like a peachy pink blush in the Tantastic one that I have here. As you can see me applying this one, it's super beautiful. I used my exact same blush brush that I always use and the pigment was there right away. Although it is more of a denser brush, the pigment is super beautiful. It's definitely a nice springtime blush and it translated on the skin beautifully, blended out beautifully, no problems there. It's a beautiful, beautiful blush. These products then tell you to use the bronzer next. So I'm very familiar with this bronzer already because I do have the full size version. So I applied this with my Marc Jacobs the bronze brush and as you can see, because this pan is now significantly smaller, <laughs> it was a little bit tougher to get my brush in because this is a big bronze brush. So obviously the brush is more so used for the big bronze pan, but I was able to use this as long as I was careful. And how this performed is exactly like how it performed in the permanent collection. So I didn't find any difference in quality, which is amazing. So here we actually have the shades Tantastic from the original white container and then we have the Tantastic from the new container. Now, here's kind of my thoughts here. It looks very similar, but I wonder if the Trio, which is on my right side, I wonder if it's slightly thinner maybe in pigment, like slightly lighter and slightly glowier, because it looks like they're different shades here, but I built up the swatches the same. So you can see that there's a bit more of a sheeniness to the same shade in the Trio. It's almost like they added a little bit of a glow to it, even though it's still matte. The third product in this powder Trio is the Highlight, and I was wondering if this was going to be quite warm and quite deep on me, given that it is a fairly warm golden highlight. However, it did actually work really well. I actually use more of a fluffier brush for this one just so I can make sure that I wasn't gonna overly apply this in case it was too deep, but it actually turned out really beautifully. With my skin, normally I actually have a bit of a self tan going right now, so it's a little bit deeper than normal for me. I am a little bit more fair normally, and I would say if I were to wear this without my self tanner on, it definitely would pick up that underneath that golden pigment pretty quickly so I'd have to make sure I was going fairly light-handed. So this is a beautiful, well-performing trio, I must say. Now I'm gonna get into the stats of all of this because <laughs> I just realized I didn't tell you the price, I didn't tell you anything. This is at Sephora as well as Marc Jacobs Beauty. It is 49 American dollars or 65 Canadian dollars. Now unlike the Extra Shot Concealer, this is a limited edition product. So if you are wanting one, I would grab it as soon as you can because it's kind of hard to say if it's gonna come back. I'm thinking it'll get restocked at least once or twice, but being that it's limited edition and knowing Marc Jacobs as a company, it tends to stick around a little bit, but then he really does mean it when he pulls it permanently. With the exception of these bronzers, like this was one that was once limited edition, but then with all of the feedback, he made it permanent. So it's hard to say if he's gonna make these permanent as well. But so far so good with this, you guys. I think it's very, very pretty. Here are the swatches of the gorgeous trio in Tantastic. You guys can see that it is super beautiful. It actually reminds me of Neapolitan ice cream. <laughs> I don't know if that's a Canadian thing. Let me know down below. All of these powders are super creamy and they swatch really, really beautifully on the skin. Now, when it comes to the amount of product in here versus one of these, the packaging looks pretty close to being the exact same size. So I was wondering if the amount of product would also be the same size. So when you get this big bronzer, you actually get 25 grams of product in here. So it is quite a big bronzer and it lasts a long time, as you can tell. <laughs> So I was wondering, do you get 25 grams in this one? You actually get 24 and a half grams. So it is just half a gram less. The blush at seven and a half grams on the top, the middle is 9.8 grams and the bottom is 7.2. When you actually do all that math, it's 24 and a half grams total. The other shade range in this trio, like I said, is called Tantalize. And looking at my notes here, that one consists of a rose pink satin blush a deep brown matte bronzer and a rose gold shimmer. Now kind of looking at that product versus this one, I was wondering if the highlights maybe were in the wrong place because this one does look warmer and maybe slightly
slightly deeper, but it's also kind of hard to say because maybe that one does have quite a bit of that rose gold pigment underneath and maybe it is actually fairly deep. So it's kind of hard to say. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts, but this is definitely one that I think is a great product. If you're interested in it, you won't be disappointed. What do you guys think of these two new products from Marc Jacobs? Are any of these on your wish list? Have you picked them up yourself? Do let me know all of your thoughts down below. And until my next one, guys, take care and stay safe. Bye, guys.